7. Physics Phenomena That Still Confuse Scientists Now, you might think physics has everything figured out. I mean, we've got equations for gravity, black holes, and even why toast always lands butterside down. But here's the kicker. There are still parts of the universe that leave even the smartest scientists scratching their heads and quietly weeping into their coffee. So today, we're diving into seven physics phenomena that still confuse scientists, because nothing says fun like realizing the universe is basically gaslighting us. Let's get weird! Number 1. Dark Matter Alright folks, first up on our list of cosmic curveballs is dark matter, also known as the universe's most skilled magician. Imagine you are playing hide-and-seek with a cosmic ninja. You cannot see them, you cannot hear them, and you definitely cannot touch them. But somehow, you know they are there, because they keep moving stuff around when you are not looking. That is basically dark matter. Dark matter does not shine, does not reflect light, and does not absorb it either. It is completely invisible. It is like the ghost of the cosmos, except, instead of saying boo, it just quietly bends entire galaxies, like it is doing yoga in space. Here is the wild part. Scientists believe that dark matter makes up about 27% of the entire universe. That is more than five times the amount of regular matter. You know, the stuff we are made of. So technically, everything we see, like planets, stars, tacos, and your favorite pet rock, only makes up about 5% of what is actually out there. The rest, a mix of dark energy and dark matter. Both are the universe's way of saying, you really have no idea what is going on, do you? But wait, it gets better. Scientists have come up with some pretty interesting guesses about what dark matter might be. One of the most popular ideas is something called WIMPs. Not wimpy scientists, but weakly interacting massive particles. These are particles that barely interact with normal matter. They are so shy they make introverts look like stand-up comedians. Other guesses include mysterious things called axions, or maybe even tiny ancient black holes scattered across the universe. But here is the kicker. We still have not found a single confirmed piece of dark matter. Not one. It is like the universe has a secret recipe and refuses to share the ingredients. Meanwhile, scientists are standing in the cosmic kitchen shouting, Come on! Just give us a clue! So for now, dark matter remains one of the biggest mysteries in physics. It is the ultimate galactic prankster. Always present, never seen, and leaving scientists wondering, is this real life or just science fiction? 2. Dark Energy Alright, after the sneaky invisible dark matter, let's meet its mysterious partner in crime dark energy. If dark matter is the cosmic glue holding things together, dark energy is like the universe's very own cosmic accelerator pedal. But instead of making your car go faster, it is making the entire universe expand faster and faster. Imagine the universe is blowing up a giant balloon, and dark energy is the force that keeps pumping more and more air into it. Now here is the weird part. Scientists only discovered this speeding up business in the late 1990s. Before that, they thought the universe's expansion was slowing down because of gravity. But nope, dark energy is pushing everything apart faster than anyone expected. It is like the universe is in a hurry to get somewhere, but nobody knows where. Dark energy makes up about 68% of the universe. That means it is even more abundant than dark matter. And that is saying something, because dark matter is already a big deal. So right now, about 95% of the universe is made of stuff we cannot see or fully understand. Talk about feeling small. Scientists have a few ideas about what dark energy might be. One guess is something called the cosmological constant, which is a fancy term Albert Einstein came up with. He thought it was a mistake, but it might just be the key to understanding dark energy. Another idea is that dark energy changes over time, something called quintessence, which sounds like a fancy magic spell from a wizard school. But here is the kicker. No one really knows what dark energy is or how it works. It is like the universe's biggest secret, wrapped in an enigma hidden behind a cosmic curtain. 3. The Arrow of Time 
Okay, now let's talk about something that affects all of us every single day. The arrow of time. Have you ever noticed how time seems to only move in one direction? You wake up, you eat breakfast, you go about your day, and then you go to sleep. You do not suddenly wake up after dinner and have breakfast for dinner. At least not usually. But here is the weird part. The basic laws of physics do not care if time moves forward or backward. They work just fine if you run them in reverse. Imagine watching a movie of billiard balls smashing into each other. If you play it backwards, the balls bounce back exactly the way they came. Nothing really breaks the rules. So why does time feel like it only goes forward? Well, that is where the arrow of time comes in. The secret is something called entropy. Entropy is just a fancy word for disorder or chaos. Think about your bedroom. When you clean it, it looks nice and tidy, but after a few days of living in it, it gets messy again. That messiness is increasing entropy. The second law of thermodynamics says that entropy tends to increase in a closed system. In other words, things naturally get more messy or disorganized over time. This gives time its direction. The past was more ordered, and the future is more chaotic. Now here is the tricky question. Why did the universe start in such a super tidy, low entropy state? Because if it started messy, we might not even be here to wonder about it. Scientists have been scratching their heads about this one for a long time. So while the laws of physics do not care if time runs forward or backward, the universe itself gives time a one-way ticket because disorder likes to win. You can think of the arrow of time as the universe's way of making sure things do not get too out of hand. Or maybe it just wants to keep us on our toes. Either way, it is a mystery that makes time one of the coolest puzzles in all of physics. Time is flowing and there is no hitting the rewind button. 4. The Proton Spin Crisis Now, let's zoom in to the tiny world inside atoms, to something called the Proton Spin Crisis. Sounds like a dance party gone wrong, right? Well, in a way, it kind of is. Protons are these little particles that live in the nucleus of an atom. They are like the building blocks of everything around us. Your coffee mug, your phone, even you. And just like spinning tops, protons have something called spin. But before you start imagining them doing pirouettes, proton spin is a quantum property. It is more like a built-in twist or rotation that gives protons some of their magnetic personality. The proton spin came from the spins of the tiny particles inside it called quarks. Easy, right? Just add up the spins of the quarks and boom, you get the proton spin. But in the 1980s experiments gave scientists a huge surprise. When they looked closely, the quarks only accounted for about 30% of the proton spin that left a whopping 70% unaccounted for. Talk about a mystery party. So the big question became, where does the rest of the spin come from? Some scientists think it might come from gluons, which are the particles that glue quarks together. Others think it might come from the way quarks and gluons move around inside the proton, like tiny dancers twirling in complex patterns. This puzzle has been dubbed the proton spin crisis, and it has kept physicists busy for decades. It is like having a puzzle with most of the pieces missing, and every time you think you found one, it slips away again. Five, quantum entanglement. Okay, now things are about to get weird. And by weird, I mean full-blown quantum bonkers. Let's talk about quantum entanglement, the phenomenon that made Einstein himself squint and say, this is spooky. Here's the basic idea. Imagine you have two particles, tiny little things like photons or electrons. You link them together in a special quantum way so that they become entangled. Now, whatever happens to one of them will instantly affect the other, even if they are light years apart. It is like having two dice that always land on the same number, no matter how far apart they are or who rolls them. Sounds like magic, right? But it is very real. Scientists have tested this again and again, and it keeps working. Even when the entangled particles are separated by huge distances, they act like they are still connected by some invisible thread. Einstein was not a fan of this. He called it spooky action at a distance because it seemed to break all the rules. 
Specifically, it looked like information was traveling faster than the speed of light, which, according to relativity, should not be possible. And yet, here we are. So what is going on? Well, no one really knows. Some scientists say the particles are not sending signals to each other. Instead, their connection is just baked into the way the universe works. Others believe it has to do with hidden variables we have not discovered yet. Quantum entanglement is not just some fun sci-fi idea. It is the reason we are working on things like quantum computers and quantum encryption. In the future, this weirdness could make our internet faster and more secure. But even with all our technology, we are still just scratching the surface of how entanglement truly works. It is as if the universe has its own secret messaging system and we are just trying to read the first few lines, a cosmic WhatsApp with no Wi-Fi and no delay, just spooky and instant. So if your brain feels a little scrambled after that, congratulations, you are officially thinking like a quantum physicist. Sixth, the measurement problem. Let's talk about the measurement problem. Sounds boring, right? Like maybe it is about measuring flour for cookies? But no, this is one of the strangest and most mind-melting mysteries in quantum physics. So here's the deal. In the quantum world, particles like electrons and photons do not have one set position or state until someone measures them. Before that, they exist in what is called a superposition, which means they are in multiple possible states at the same time. It is like if your cat was simultaneously on the couch, in the sink, and under your bed, and only when you looked did it choose one spot. This idea was made famous by Schrodinger's cat, the thought experiment where a cat in a box is somehow both alive and not alive until you peek inside. Creepy and confusing, yes, but it illustrates the weirdness of quantum behavior. Now, here comes the measurement problem. The moment we observe or measure a quantum system, that cloud of possibilities suddenly snaps into one clear outcome. This is called wave function collapse, and no one knows why it happens. The big question is, what counts as a measurement? Does a human have to be watching? Is it the measuring device itself? Is the universe just playing coy until someone pays attention? There are several wild theories. One says that observation causes reality to snap into place, which basically turns all of us into accidental wizards. Another idea is the many worlds interpretation, which says every possible outcome happens, but in separate parallel universes. So if you flip a coin, one version of you sees heads, and another version in a different universe sees tails, which means somewhere out there, you might actually be good at cooking. And yes, all of this is real science. These ideas are debated in physics classrooms, labs, and the occasional late-night pizza party for quantum nerds. The measurement problem is still unsolved. We know the math works. We can build amazing technologies, like lasers and MRI machines using quantum rules. But we still do not know why the quantum world behaves this way when someone is watching. 7. The Universe's Fine-Tuning Problem All right, time for our last mystery of the day, and it is a big one. It is called the Fine-Tuning Problem, and it basically asks, why is the universe so perfectly set up for life? Imagine you are baking a cake. If the temperature is even a little too high or you use too much salt or forget the flour, you get a disaster. Now think of the universe like a cosmic cake. It has a bunch of ingredients like gravity, the strength of electromagnetism, and the rate of expansion after the Big Bang. If any of these were even slightly different, the universe could have collapsed in on itself, flown apart too fast, or never formed atoms at all. No stars, no planets, and definitely no pizza. The wild part? The odds of everything lining up just right are incredibly small, like winning the lottery while being hit by lightning small. And yet, here we are, breathing air, watching cat videos, and wondering how it all came to be. So, what gives? Scientists have a few theories. One idea is that we just got lucky. The universe happened to roll the dice and hit the cosmic jackpot. Another idea is called the multiverse. This one says there might be an endless number of other universes out there, each with slightly different settings. Most of them would be total chaos, but in at least one, everything clicked perfectly, and that is the one we live in. So, in a sense, we exist because we had to end up in the one place where life could exist. 
It is like searching through an infinite wardrobe and finally finding the one outfit that fits just right. Then there is the design argument which says maybe the universe looks fine-tuned because it was fine-tuned by some greater force, higher intelligence or cosmic programmer. This idea is more philosophical than scientific, but it is still part of the conversation. The truth is, no one knows why the universe's settings are so perfect for life. It might be random, it might be destiny, it might be something way weirder than we can even imagine. But one thing is clear, it gives scientists and philosophers something to argue about over lunch. And that, friends, is the universe's most charming mystery. Thanks for joining us on this wild ride through the weirdest parts of the universe. If your brain hurts a little, that means it is working. Be sure to like, subscribe, and tell us in the comments which mystery blew your mind the most.